Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share one word with you, and then we will follow with two scriptures and Pat's Two Cents. Don't you go anywhere. This is going to open your eyes to something a lot of you may never have thought of. And it is rampant in the body of Christ. 2 Corinthians verse chapter 6 verse 14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness mm, think on that let's move on to the second verse i want you to hear what Jesus says. Uh-huh. Matthew 11:29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Now, let's deal with the word yoke. I looked it up in Webster's Dictionary. It is both a noun and a verb. Now, the verb form gets real interesting here. The original meaning of the word yoke means to join. Mm -hmm. Now, keep that in mind. Many of you born-again Christians, and some who are not, love yoga. You love yoga. It is all the little movements and the and the chantings and, and all the little goodies that go with it. You love it. You love the way it makes you feel. You love the stretching. What harm could that be? What harm could it do? Right? Mm -hmm. Well, follow me. Yoga means literally yoga now now not we're not dealing with yoke we're dealing with yoga means to yoke with hindu gods mm, mm, mm. and if you're yoking baby you're joining think about that mm -hmm. now listen to this Top 10 Hindu gods. I looked it up on the internet because I want to at least know a little bit of what I'm talking about. I have never participated in yoga because when it first came out, they were chanting stuff and I did not want to be chanting any demons up in my life. Listen to this. Yama, God of death. Indra, God of lightning, storms, rain, rivers. Chakra. Mm, mm, mm. That's the other name. Buddha is an avatar for Vishnu. Brahma has four faces looking in four different directions. This is crazy. I think this is nine of them that I got. Ganasha. Ganapati. I'm not even going to try to pronounce all these names that one God has. Hanuman. The next one is Krishna. And then Rama. And number one is Shiva. Creator and destroyer. According to what? The Hindu faith. This is all linked to Hinduism. You are yoking yourself with a Hindu god. So every time you chant, every time you stretch, you move, you take all those poses and you think, oh, I love the way I feel. Baby, nothing can top the way real God, our real God can make you feel. But you're spending more time in yoga and you think it's harmless. But what you are doing, in essence, is sleeping with Tom, Dick, and Harry or Sally, Sue, and Jane. You're not, you're not communing with the Lord. You're communing with all these Hindu gods. And what did God say? Thou shalt have no 
other God before me. Mm. And you're giving, you're paying homage to Hindu gods through yoga. Remember, yoga means to yoke with Hindu gods. Now, I don't know how much more plain I can make it. So, rethink that, okay? Take that to God if you don't want to listen to me. Take it to God. Because God says he is a jealous God. He doesn't want you having another lover. If you don't want it from your mate, what makes you think God wants it from you? And when you are chanting, when you are going through these things, one woman who was an ex-Hindu worshiper said that she realized she was channeling demons. And when you channel demons, the demons give you a nice little high and a nice, nice, warm, fuzzy, euphoric feeling for a while. And they draw you in and they suck you in just like a good dope. Just like a good drug, crack, heroin, cocaine, whatever the case may be, whatever your drug of choice is. Sex, pornography, whatever. Gambling. And what ends up happening is you get so hooked that you just get deeper and deeper and deeper into it. Can't do without it. You got to go get your fix because you need that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling. Not realizing that what God can make you feel makes that look like cotton candy. Shh. All sugar. No substance. Put it in your mouth. Whoop, disappears. Gone. All that big cotton candy. Ain't nothing but air and sugar. Now, so here you are putting all your energy in this. And you don't realize you are literally committing spiritual adultery with your body. Somebody tell you to stand in church, praise the Lord, you're tired. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. You don't want to hear all that. You want them to get to the words so you can go home and watch your program or go to your yoga, cl your yoga class. So you can yoke with Hindu gods. But you bees a Christian. Hmm. Okay. I ain't taking that from you. That ain't my place. My question is, have you asked God who your real God is? He'll tell you. He won't mince words. Because that's an abomination to him. All right. Now, we have dealt with that. And I hope that you're still in a good mood. <clears throat> because I am going to tell the truth when I stumble onto it. However I get truth, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it on. Because we all have to grow together, you guys. This is our YouTube family now. I can't sit up there and tell you that you're wonderful when you are really, really jacking your life up. I can't do it. And I don't want you to do it to me. Tell me the truth. If you love me. God bless you. And this is an act of love, what I just did. And it was a request from one of our YouTubers. And I thank you very much for suggesting this. God bless you all. Amen.